I think my generator build is ready to test. This thing is going to rip. Even spinning it like this, just a little bit, I get 2 amps over 14 volts coming out. This thing is going to kill it. Kill it. Okay, so it's a treadmill motor, 2.26 uh, horsepower or something. Runs off direct current. Epoxy coils, six of them. Um, these coils with that big, thick wire. Each one of these is like 0.4 ohms. And I got six of them in series. It's six huge 40 by 20 Neo disc magnets. These big suckers. I got six of them. And this thing has... Ugh, it's hard to spin. But it rips power. Okay, so that's the setup. Looks something like that. On the front side, I did AC out and direct current out with an amp meter on it. Okay. I didn't put a volt meter, I might add that later. And then I got my input, which is direct current from the supply. So, the, And I got it on and off switch. So basically, uh, it's like a power supply, except it's a generator. So this way I could test my mechanisms and my ideas with mechanical power with the generator instead of relying on transformers. Is it going to matter? Probably not, but either way, this thing's crazy. Now, I don't, I didn't build this to do any type of over unity stuff. This isn't going to go over unity. There's nothing here that should make it do that, but uh, it's just going to be a kick ass generator. So let's make sure this is off. Okay, let's turn the supply on. Let's put our in voltage plus to plus, minus to minus. Okay, hold up. Let me turn my supply voltage down because I don't want this at 17 volts. It'll be, let's turn it to about 12. Let's try that. Start. Okay. So when I flip this switch, I'm going to have to hand start it because the uh, cogging is way too much. So I'm going to flip it. Okay, now it's trying to go. circuit no amperage now let's short it I don't want to use that I might get sparked and of course I don't have a screwdriver around so let's use a jumper ready stopped it direct current side to see amperage. It's going to stop it, but watch how many amps. Woo! Six amps. Six amps and it stops it. So with a load. Now let's see open current voltage. Let me get a multimeter. It's a little tangled, of course. You know how that goes. Okay, multimeter. Set it to voltage. Put it on direct current voltage. Negative. Positive. 35 volts. And that, and that sucker goes up to 6 amps at least. So we're cooking, cooking. AC, let's check AC. Alternating current. Twenty-nine point five volts alternating. The direct current's a little hotter like it should be. Everything looks sweet. That's at about twelve watts, a little under twelve watts. And uh it'll stop with this much load. So I should have some good, good testing mechanism here. Power her off. Comes to a stop. Boom. Capacitor. No, there's no capacitor on that side. Oh, well those are just millivolts. Yeah, the capacitors on the DC side. So, 
I got the outline splitting. One line goes to the rectifier and to a cap that handles plenty of voltage to smooth it out a little bit. Goes to the direct current side. The other side comes right off the generator directly to the AC side. So awesome. I'm happy with this sucker.